it involved getting involved mm -hmm. and it involved having some opinions, which was really the cool thing. So Ray lip synced my performance, but then again, Ray would also do his own thing. So not everything fit exactly because he needed to have freedom to bring his Darth Maul to it. And then I came back and voiced it again to fill in all those spots. So it was back and forth between me and Ray. What I appreciated about the process is that both Ray and I were respected for our knowledge on this subject. Little things like a producer saying to me, okay, and then he's going to draw his lightsaber. And I'm like, okay, which lightsaber? They're like, oh, his double-bladed lightsaber from Phantom Menace. I'm like, all right, forgive me, but he doesn't have that anymore. You got two choices. And you can go with the dark saber, which means this, this, and this. Or you can go with the Inquisitor lightsaber, which means, interestingly enough, he's being hunted by the Empire. That was the cool thing, that I didn't feel like I was going to be fired when I kicked up dust with a producer or with Ron Howard. They were like, no, tell us more. What's the deal?